this is Jessica Lynn Mold. I am the owner of JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Uh, today we're going to be making this adorable pair of cards. What's fun is it's truly a waste not want not because you use the reverse of the supplies. So these adorable kittens are part of a brand new stamp set that's coming to our website soon called Celine's Kittens. Um, I'm so excited to share them with you. They are four by six in size and it comes with two other adorable images. So before we get started, just a reminder, all of our stamps are available at our website, just jessicalinoriginal.com. We make custom stamps. We have digital stamps that you can download. We also make clear stamps, which are the photopolymer. Today for this card, I'm going to be using a die cut from Cat Scrappiness. Um, I love this die cut. It is truly a great investment. It comes with a bunch of them. I like it too because it has little stitching on the other side. Um, I have my card stock. I use some gray. And then we're going to go ahead and I stamp the little kitten. And you can see I just fussy cut her out really quick. Now what I love about this image is it's nice and clean. And I really think that you could color any sort of cat color with it. It's one of my favorite features about the new stamps that we're going to be designing and sharing with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a little bit of a background. And I'm just using some of the Distress Ink. Um, this is that Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And then I'm using a dauber. And all I'm doing is just kind of making a little pattern because I'm going to be cutting out a piece of the cardstock to go over the top of this card. So what I'm trying to do is build up the base image. And again, you can see I'm just building up the color. I just want it to be a nice, kind of a grassy, mossy sky. I want it to be just pretty and bright because my goal is I'm actually gonna make the kitten's eyes those colors so that the cat really pops when we go ahead and mount him on the card itself. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I cut my cardstock to the sides of the front of the card, and now I lined up where I want my die cut to die because I created that little circle with the um, Tim Holt Distress Ink, and now I wanna go ahead and cut the hole where it's gonna live. So I went ahead and put a little piece of tape on there, and then I went and got my Cuddle Bug, which was a Christmas present many, many years ago from my mom. She had no idea what it was, but she was like, I think you want this, and I use it all the time running it through my cuddle bug and what you're going to see now is that that little piece of gray let me just back the camera up here a little bit so you can see it i'm going to go ahead and take off the tape and when i do that you can see it lined up and what i love again see the little stitching now i'm going to hold on to that other cut circle that i did but you can see that stitching right along the edge So at first I was thinking about putting this up on a foam riser and making it three dimensional. But then I thought, I don't want to put foam risers and then more foam risers because then the cat will be on risers on risers, right? So I thought, you know what would be better? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it down. So I went ahead out and got my glue, my glue tape, and I'm going to go ahead and tape it down. Um, it's just my Tombow, the adhesive, and I'm just going to glue it right on. So what you can see is see how that lines up? It's so pretty, it's like a nice little space. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna color the cat in. And um, for this cat, you can see I'm gonna match the colors to that beautiful um, Tim Holt Distress Ink that I put in the background of that circle. 
so I'm in the process got a couple of colors out there and again what I love about these cats that we've designed is that they're really what's the right word cat neutral so if you have a black and white cat make it look like your cat if you have a Siamese or a Persian or well maybe not a Persian because Persians would be much fluffier um, but almost any other cat you could pretty much turn these stamps into your cat which would be kind of cool or if you had a let's say you were going to make a birthday card with these you could and your best friend had a cat maybe you would color it to look like their cat that's kind of fun you know I, I like those kind of personalized you know not only are you making a custom personalized gift by making a card but by going in and actually making it look like their pet um, I can tell you that is extremely special and will probably be a second gift to them Okay, I know I had said that you can go in and make it like a couple of different cats. So I colored in a few of them that I'll just share with you really quick. So here's the one we colored in. I gave him some gray. Then I also went in and I did a fully gray cat. And you can see I gave it that bright, beautiful yellow eyes that a cat has, that those gray cats have. So I thought that was really pretty. And then I also thought, you know what, let's try and do a Siamese. So I went ahead and colored it in with the bright blue eyes. So again, you can make this cat look like your cat or someone you care about's cat so kind of fun so what I'm gonna do is I'm just testing out the cats to see which one I like the best now obviously the one I colored with the exact same color eyes is the one I'm gonna use for the card but I just wanted to see how it would look so this one it's kind of cool because you can see I used two shades of that bluish green let me just see if I can get that to focus a little bit better there we go you can see I went ahead and matched it up with the colors in the background so it's kind of fun that way the gray one, I mean, it's a beautiful because orange and blue are complementary colors on the color wheel, right? A little art lesson, right? So the other one looks really pretty too, um, but I thought it would be more dynamic to have it match up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put foam risers on the back side of the cat. So you can see here come my foam risers. Go ahead and put those on the cat. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick them down right onto the card itself. I love how it just makes the cat's eyes pop. It's so cute. It's just so cute. So from here, I kind of thought, you know what? I think it needs a sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my sentiment box. And the stamp set that I decided to use, it is from Lawn Fawn. It's one that they created for to and from cards. I love it because it has one of the sentiments on here. It says, with love. I will put a link at the bottom to all the stamps that I used as well, but it is a Lawn Fawn. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ink it on up. Once I've got it all inked up, I'm going to go ahead and I think, I think I'm going to stamp it down on the bottom corner because I just, I love when cards are simplistic enough, but yet, and just have a little bit of something at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and move my ink here and I'm going to stamp it right down at the bottom. Now, 
Now, when I went ahead and did this, I did not. Um, I have this is an older ink pad, so it's totally my bad. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and restamp it. And what I love is I could have either used, you know, one of the Misties, or I could have used the Tim Holtz platform. But what I love about clear stamps is that you can, if you line it up and take the time, you can stamp it again as long as you line it up perfectly, which is what I did here. So again, I've got that adorable kitten with the sentiment, with love. Don't forget to sign the back of your cards. All right, so let's change gears a little bit. So we've got our first card and you can see there's that little die cut circle. I kept that circle and now what I do is I pasted it right on the reverse side, went ahead and glued it down. I took the kitten, again, this is one of those new stamps coming soon from JessicaLynnOriginal.com. It's called Celine's Kittens. And I'm gonna use the gray kitten this time. It's so cute. And right now I'm just putting some foam risers on the back. So there he is. Look how cute. Those orange eyes. Man, they just pop. I'm going to go ahead and put that adorable kitten right there on the card. So again, super easy. Two cards for the amount of time you take to do one, right? Because you color the kittens together. You could die cut once, put them both cards. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get that same stamp from Lawn Fawn. And I am going to ink it up. And this time I will do my best to ink it up better than I did on the last one. So let's see how this is going to look. All right, there it is again, all inked up. And I am literally just going to stamp it right onto the cardstock. Come on, camera, focus up. Sorry about that, guys. My camera was having kind of an issue today. I think it's the, I worked in a much sunnier environment today. So um, every once in a while, I mean, it gave me beautiful imagery, but every once in a while, my camera didn't know what to focus on. Sorry about that, guys. So go ahead and we'll fold this card on up and look at how cute it looks. I love it. And what I love was that, you know, it was, I didn't waste that circle that I die cut. You know, I was able to use it and they look so cute as a pair. So thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like what I do, please subscribe. I'm going to pop up a little Brentwood. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pop up two more videos for you to watch. Please, I would love to hear from you. Are you excited to see Celine's kittens? I am so excited to share this set with you. Leave your comments below.